Well, on a recent trip to Jamaica, the Jealous Ross visited Appleton's rum blending plant for a lesson in rum manufacturing and blending. Take a look. Rather be free to be myself my way. That's how it's got to be. This is the song that young men sing. Life is just for living. Life is just for living. Just this is the Dreadless Rats. We're here at the J. Ray and Nevio Appleton Estates Rum Distillery on Spanish Stern Road in Kingston, Jamaica. J. Ray and Nevio Limited and Appleton Rum are synonymous with Jamaica for over two centuries. Many of us transport some of the company's duty free products after visiting Jamaica, but we never quite thought of the manufacturing process that produces variety of blended spirits we savor on our palates. No, rum is really the most versatile spirit in the world. And why is this? It's capable of infinite variation in terms of the different styles of rum, colors, ages, and body. And of course, it's suitable for all occasions, in particular the Appleton Estate range of rum. We visited the Appleton Estate Rum Blending Plant for a lesson in rum appreciation and tasting with master blender Joy Spence. So the youngest rum has been aged in oak for 12 years. It is full body, very complex, delicate molasses, vibrant orange peel, rich vanilla, special coffee and cocoa, hint of almond and toasted oak. And so you should just have this on the rock or just with a touch of water or club soda. So you can just take a sip of the 12 to note the finish. Joy Spence has the distinction of being the first female to hold the position of master blender in the industry. Joy joined Appleton Estate Jamaica Rum as chief chemist in 1981 and held a series of key positions before she was appointed general manager of technical and quality services in 1996, a position she still holds along with the position of master blender, which she took up in 1997. This rum is a transition rum where it is taking you from the mixer into the sipping category. And it's a full-bodied rum. It has a much spicier note than ZX, so you get nice, delicate nutmeg. You get your vanilla. You get a hint of cinnamon, a hint of hazelnut. Apton Estate rums are known throughout the world and have received many accolades, including the Drinks International's World's Favorite Brand 2010. Preserving and protecting the environment is paramount at Appleton. The organization employs green manufacturing in growing, harvesting, and processing sugarcane for rum production. Prior to this year, um, when we started our harvesting, we used to burn the sugarcane fields, which would remove the trash and just leave the stock, and it would be much easier for harvesting. However, it produces a lot of ash in the air and um, reduces our carbon footprint. So we started a transition this year where we would not burn the sugar cane fields, we would just go in and, and harvest the cane while they're green. The harvesters actually separate the leaves and um, leave the leaves on the ground, which is known as a trash blanket, and we have the stalks left that we carry to the sugar factory. According to Joy Spence, the best way to appreciate good rum is using your sight, smell, and taste. First one checks for clarity. You should actually see the light reflecting through the liquid, indicating that this rum has been finely processed. So it's brilliant, has this nice, beautiful golden hue, crystal clear. The nose in the spirit is very important. And now we're getting that beautiful orange peel top note that I refer to. Wrapped with molasses and twisted with ginger and vanilla. Our group then had a contest to blend a particular type of rum requested by the master blender. So you're going to taste each of them, you're going to taste A, B, C and D. You know the target is a rum that is great for making cocktails. So then you're going to determine how much of A, how much of B, how much of C, how much of D you're going to use and pour directly based on that formula into your bottle and then pour a small amount into the bottle. <laughs> so, we learned about Appleton Estate, we learned about blending of rum, we learned about the aging of rum, 
and we also got had a chance to blend our own rum and I won third prize here's my bottle I mean this is this is sealed and signed my name is on it and it's signed by Joyce Spence master blender here at Appleton Estates and uh, this is going to be a collected item for me anyway I'm a little bit inebriated we've you know tasted a lot of different rums but it was a good thing you know Jamaica sea sand and rum can't go wrong with that Fiddless Rest, Zinc TV, New York Links.